Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Yes, Dan Still Needs to Put His Magic Cards Away. And yes, I do still have my rash thing on my face, so let's all just look past these things and focus on these cards, yeah? Yes, this is one of those releases where they came out with duo Elite Trainer boxes, which means I have twice the amount to open in this video, which means I'm probably opening up close to a booster box in this video. But you guys know me, I just love having a battle. We've got the normal Elite Trainer box, and the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. For Coral Forces, we've got Iron Leaves, we've got Walking Wake here. The Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes have 11 packs in them. They are a little bit more expensive. They also come with the Pokemon Center Stamped Promo Card and the Unstamped Promo Card. But otherwise, I believe the boxes are the same nowadays. But so we've got 22 packs with the two Elite Trainer Boxes, and then the regular Elite Trainer Boxes have nine packs, so that's 18. 22 plus 18. I think I'm opening up more than a booster box. I think I'm opening 40 packs. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why that's just hitting me, but uh, sure is. So, I'm gonna get to unboxing all of the stuff. I mean, it's the same as you always see with Elite Trainer Boxes. It comes with the player's guide, has all the new mechanics and stuff for this set for the actual TCG, has the whole set list in it, which I personally love. We have the sleeve for the box that has all of the pack artworks on the inside if you want to display that. You get the actual box, you get your damage markers, and your dice. They seem to always try and make the dice match the box. Got our deck dividers, promo card that I will show you up close in a second. We've got our brick of energies and then our sleeves. Ugh, they're still matte. They made them gold this time on this side though for the walking wake ones. I don't know why. Usually they save the gold for the special sets, you know, like a holiday set, but all right. And then we've got our packs. So like I said, I'm going to unpack all of this stuff and then we will have a box battle to really duke it out. Like I said, we've got a lot of packs to open. All right, and here we go. Here we have our spread. I've got the regular Elite Trainer boxes up front and the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes in back. So we will see who wins. Obviously, Pokemon Center has to do a bit better because they have two extra packs per Elite Trainer box, but I suppose I can take this out of its little package. Starting off with the Walking Wake Elite Trainer box. Uh, we have got Fluttermane here for our promo. Very beautiful, very lovely, very nice. And let's take a peek at what your packs contain. See if I can figure out how to position myself in a more comfortable manner here. So, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing well and ready for this opening today. I know I sure am excited. I have not put together my binder yet, but I just opened up the set for the first time, my booster box yesterday here in real time. So now I have been able to look at the set. I did not realize I did as well as I did in my booster box, but uh, definitely still some things I need. So we have got a reverse Sizzlipede, we have got a reverse Mudsdale, and we are starting off with <laughs> the card that I seem to pull the most, or the hollow that I seem to pull the most, which is that fur alligator. I guess I haven't checked, uh, mostly because I haven't put the binder together, but I guess I'm not sure how many hollows are in this set, but I was feeling like when I opened it up yesterday that it was kind of forget which set it was. It's the one that has the full art and the uh, special illustration rare Gita in it. That set. Uh, but yeah, that one also had like just a handful of hollows, so it gets a little repetitive, but that's how this set is seeming to me anyways. But let's see what we have. We've got a boxed order reverse. We have got an Excadrill reverse and another haul. I don't know I have pulled the Fluttermane Hollow though, if I'm being completely honest here. It doesn't look familiar, so I'm gonna actually be excited about that one, because I gotta I gotta fill up the binder eventually. I mean I don't have to. <laughs> but it is nice, and I do have some binders from the past where it's like I have pulled almost all of the full arts, or I shouldn't say pulled almost all of the full arts, but I have almost all the full arts, all the these's and the that's, and yet missing a hollow or two have all of the all of the V cards and stuff, but them hollows. <laughs> like I said, there are a few sets where I do have some missing hollows. So let's see, we have got this adorable reverse rare whimsicott. Yay for our first hit. We have also got oh good. Oh good. Oh my god. Oh no I have this one, don't I? There are so many illustration rares in this set that I really really love. This is one of the ones that I pulled, isn't it, Bronzor? It sure is. Rats. 
It's so cute. I love Sao Sao's artwork. I really do. But I do have this one. <laughs> and then we have a Drompa for our hollow rare. Shoot, I really do love that bronzer, but I am looking for other things. So like I said, I, uh, I got luckier than I knew I got with my booster box. I didn't pull like the top chase cards or anything, but certainly one of the illustration rares that I pulled uh, was one that once I saw the whole set, it would have been a chase card for me. So I won't spoil which one I pulled unless we pull it again here today. But uh, yeah, that giraffe rig, uh, maybe no, I have pulled that. Uh, but hopefully I'll start seeing some new artworks here behind this rescue board. Nope, we've got a reverse Carvana and a Dadun Sparse. At least the name is fun to say. Doesn't feel great to pull it, but to say it, Dadun Sparse. Yeah, I like it, I like it. So let's see what we can do. Certainly would love to pull that full art Gengar. Looks really cool. Uh, like I said, we have got illustration rares that I would love to pull. I don't know, maybe it's a special illustration rare, but there's the Minchino and Sinchino that I would love to pull of those art rares. They're so cute, seriously. Uh, but let's see behind here, we've got a reverse Ponyta. We've got a reverse Rapska and nothing. We've got a Coridon Hollow. So, um, not doing great with this first Elite Trainer box. I feel like was it the last set where my Elite Trainer boxes were so lucky? Um, but in reality, this is more what I'm kind of used to with Elite Trainer boxes as of late anyways. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really, really cute cards. The Litten illustration rare, like just a lot of really good ones. Uh, but let's see what we can do in here. We have got a Vigavolt. We have got a Frost Moth. Ah, and an Iron Valiant Hollow. This is not good, although we can change things around. You know, give me a special illustration rare of any kind, or especially, I don't know, as much as I hate the monstrosity that is, I forget Raiko's name in this form, but the something bolt, charging bolt, raging bolt, I don't remember. Um, I do like his special illustration rare. And Entei's, you know, he's looking like a Chiquita banana lady with his big big headpiece thing. Um, but yeah, I would enjoy pulling those. And that would definitely turn this box around for the better. So Tora Cat, what you got behind you? Nothing, but behind that, matching energy. That's something, right? <sighs> So I'm kind of getting the feeling this is a rough set. This is a rough set to get hits from. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Uh, we've also got those Ace Spec Trainer cards that I've pulled a handful of because um, I did open a couple things off camera after I opened my booster box. Oh, there we go. Spoiler. We do have another reverse rare with this Melmetal. We have got a Mawile. And we have something. It looks like an EX card. Let's see. Okay, I haven't pulled this one yet. I will take it. Gengar looking absolutely horrifying. I don't want that tongue anywhere near me, please and thank you. Or those grabby little hands, but pretty cool looking card. And I don't have it. But let's see if we can make up the price of this box with this one final pack. Can it be done? Technically, yes. Will it be done? Eh, time will tell. So let's take a peek. Shroomish, what do you got hiding from us? Yeah, I got super lucky. <laughs> so I ordered my, or I opened up my two Checkling Blister packs, you know, off camera, because they're just one pack. Each one of them had an illustration rare in it that I hadn't pulled out of my booster box. Super cute. I was super pumped about it. Um, that's just very lucky. <laughs> So we've got a Drillbur Reverse, we've got a Keldeo Reverse, oof, I mean adorable, we love that Whimsicott, but like, I hope Iron Thorns can uh, pick us up, because if this is how my regular Iron Leaves box, Elite Trainer box opens, if it's like that Walking Wake one, Pokemon Center, it's not gonna matter that they had extra packs, they're just gonna beat it, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But we do have to open the packs to find out. So let's go ahead and do that together. Like I think I asked you guys, how are you finding this set? 
I am certainly very curious to watch some PokeTubers and whatnot to see how their luck has been and if maybe, you know, it's just me that's not getting great pull rates so far or if, you know, this is kind of par the course. Um, I feel like we've certainly been seeing that a lot with sets recently. We have got a Ponyta Reverse, a Cottony Reverse, and an iron, okay, to go with your, okay, promo card. Yep, that's fine, I guess I'll allow it. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of batching errors have been happening, errors, you know, where Pokemon, they'll be, I assume, in the factory cutting, you know, the special illustration rares and all of the fancy rare cards, and then all of those get put into the boxes, but then they don't, like, redistribute those boxes with the unlucky packs, you know? So it's like some cases that certain manufacturers are buying happen to be like extremely lucky where that whole case of booster boxes, all of them have super good pull rates, but then others have really bad ones. So that's kind of how it's been looking lately, which is not very fun. Uh, but we've got a Ghastly, we've got a Finizen, and a Relicanth. Okay, we are not getting off to the greatest start here, but we're gonna try and keep the hope alive. Yeah, we're still gonna have fun. We're gonna remind ourselves we get to open up Pokemon cards today. This is a fantastic day, and whether or not we get big hits, we can still have some big fun with what we've got here. So let's take a peek, see, let's see if we can get a full art of some kind. That would be nice. Let's see, with this Bronzong. Nope, we've got a Latias. Oh, we've got a Terra, I think. It looks textured. No. <laughs> oh, poop. I pulled this one already. I do love it. You don't have to come and confess. We're looking for you. We gon' find you. We gon' find you. Yeah, I was just listening to that song the other day. I had my iPod or my iTunes on shuffle and that happened to come up. What a gem. <laughs> what a gem from my college days. Antoine Dodson, I hope, wasn't that your name? Uh, I hope you found the perpetrator and uh, did what had to be done or what was made happened, what did, it needed to be, okay, either way. I hope justice was served. Yes, we'll put it that way. So, let's see what we have. We've got a Turtonator Reverse. We've got another Rapska Reverse. And another Drompa. Hmm. It is not matching energy. It just is kind of the matching color. So, Vroom Vroom, little, little motorcycle man. Yeah, okay. Is that you giving us good luck? Were those Vrooms very good luck? Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. Now let's see. There are quite a few gold cards in this set as well. I feel like I'm remembering that correctly. There was like five of them, I think, that I saw. Maybe it was only three, but it felt like five. <laughs> so... Let's see if we can pull a gold card eventually. That would be nice. Uh, we've got a Nuzleaf. We've got another Frostmoth. Some kind of EX card. Okay, I haven't pulled this one. We take that. We have got a Scizor EX. I loved him when he first came out. Definitely had him on my team a lot. Pretty sure with Steel Wing in his attack arsenal. But uh, yeah, very nice card. I will need that for the binders, so very happy to add it. Now, let's see. We, we do need to get something better, though, <laughs> to make this Elite Trainer box having been worth purchased, at least monetarily, you know, in terms of fun had. I would like to hope that my money has not gone to waste. <laughs> So, let's see what we can do here behind this giraffe rig. Can we get an illustration rare? No, we cannot. Not a full art either. Oh my goodness. This is feeling awful. This is feeling absolutely awful. Hmm. But like I said, we just need one card to really turn things around and make the box worth it. So, I mean, I would love for that to happen. It would be nice. And like I said, the Ace Spec cards, there were quite a few of them. Um, I was used to them, you know, in old sets when they had first come out with that kind of a mechanic. There was, you know, like a couple in the whole set, but I think there's like five or more in this set. So, let's see. Behind this Mawile... Another cutie patootie, but not what I am looking for. <laughs> oh no, oh no, we've got two packs left. Can I just get one nice thing? Like, it doesn't have to be a top hitter. 
<laughs> but if I could just get like an actual full art, yeah, of someone I don't already have, let me specify. Or if we can get a gold card or a illustration rare, you know, that I don't already have, this these things would definitely please me. So let's take a look. Let's give it a try. We can at least say we are giving it a try. Behind this Tranquil, behind this Keldeo, it hurts very badly. <laughs> Can we turn this around? <laughs> oof, oof. I mean, does this at least make you guys feel better? Like, yeah, let's watch someone else waste their money instead of us waste our money. Yeah, probably feels good on your end. <laughs> Thinking, wow, I'm glad I didn't buy that booster box or that elite trainer box. Yeah, you know, I really, I can't blame you there. Uh, we've got a Sizzlepede reverse. We do have an illustration rare. Oh, this pleases me. I don't know what it is. You have got to be kidding me. I mean, this is lucky, right? Like, this is a chase card for a lot of people, but... <laughs> Can we get a full art behind here? No, of course not. How, how horrible of me to even ask. Oh. It's such a good artwork, it really is. It just hurts when there's a lot of illustration rares and you've only pulled a handful and there's so much more than a handful that you haven't pulled. I'm just gonna need you to trust me when I say that that hurts. It hurts a lot. So, Pokemon Center, yes, it looks almost identical, but this one says Pokemon Center on it. So, let's see if that special stamp can provide us with some special pulls. Because those first ones felt awful. Those felt really bad. I mean, like I said, that Ghastly card is apparently quite expensive. When I was looking yesterday, it was like 30-some bucks. Um, so definitely helped with the value of that Elite Trainer box for sure. Ooh, kind of close to almost being a miscut. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, way. <laughs> Just be happy you got something at all. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Oh, you devolved. Deerling. So cute. Let's see what you're hiding. A Delmise and a Bramblegast. You do kind of remind me of Delmise, though. So, I mean, I guess... Is that something? Does that really help? It really doesn't. <laughs> but it is what it is, so... Are we going to pull any ace specs? I don't know. The fact that I had pulled a couple out of my booster box and then I pulled one out of, I think, a three-pack blister, it made me think they were pretty easy to pull, but maybe they're not. I mean, so far, anyways, out of my Elite Trainer boxes, they haven't been. <laughs> nope. We've got a Sharpedo Reverse. We've got a Meltan. Who do we got? Okay! Do I have you? I don't remember. Um, ooh, matching energy. <laughs> I don't think I have this one. Something in my brain is saying I pulled this out of one of my three packs yesterday, but I don't think so. I know this is the Cobalion, Cobalion, however you pronounce it, and not the Verizian, but their future forms, they remind me of each other. I know, they're completely different colors, they do look different, but something about them, I'm, I'm confusing them in my head quite a bit. But, oh yeah, I think there's, it's a Grottle illustration rare, and Meryl is riding on his back. It's so cute. I would love to pull that, yeah? Oh, it would be so nice. So, let's see. Let's just see. Can we pull anything new at all behind this Meditite? Ooh! Ooh, we do have something. I'm just gonna ignore that for alligator. Oh! Look! Look at this Lytton. Look at this card. Oh my god, this is, yep, this is a cat lover right here. I just love all the little details. It looks like we've got like some kind of a wishy-washy mobile up there. Got a cat bed, a meow stuffed animal, a pokeball. It looks like a Mancino tail there, but we've got a bunch of like Meowth and Litten artworks here. A shiny Litten art. Oh, it looks like we've got the Meow sticks as well. We've got a drawer made into a bed. Got a Litten stuffed animal. We have two real looking Littens. We have got a cat tree. I mean, this is just, this is fantastic. I love this card. <laughs> I'm so happy I pulled it. It's so cute. Ugh, like I said, didn't I mention that one? That was one of the main ones I wanted to get. 
that and the Mincino, Cinchino, and then that Grottel with Meryl on its back. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of really good illustration rares in this set, my friends. There really is. I mean, including that Ghastly and that Bronzor that I pulled, that I've pulled doubles now. Ah. <sighs> It's okay. They really are. They're cute cards. I love that hoot hoot. I really want to, I don't know, do something with that color palette because it's just gorgeous. But let's see what we have behind this Electivire. We've got a Bramblin, a Sawsbuck, and another Whimsicott. Can we pull a full art or a special illustration rare? I don't know. At this point, it's not feeling like it, but I do not want to give up the hope when we can very much keep the hope alive. I mean, as long as we're adding new things to my binder, that really is always the best thing. That Pikachu is so cute. I love it. Uh, we have got Airy. We have got Colossal. We've got Duosion a bronzor, and another, tr it hurts. <laughs> I don't enjoy this either, my friends. I know it's probably not very exciting to watch, but I mean, this really is the reality of it. And I do like to remind you guys, it's not always all luck and fun and games here, but we can control the fun level that we have. Yeah, to an extent. So let's go ahead and do that. Ugh. Oh, cutie patootie. Let's just have fun with what we're doing. This is a treat. We've got a Rosalia. We have got a Mightyena. And we have got a Maridon for a hollow. Still got a handful of packs here for this Elite Trainer box. Well, let's take a peek. I mean, truly, I'm, I've noticed this, I guess, with all the sets, though. Gold cards are certainly harder to pull, I feel like, than they have been previously in other eras. But... Right? I feel like that is truth for me anyways. Rebombi. A Screamtail. They were all psychic types though. I mean, I guess that's, if nothing else, kind of, kind of cool. <laughs> I also do just love like thinking about in the future, you know, like if people like Pokerev or whoever still have their channels and they, you know, 20 years from now will be opening up this set like it's vintage and like, you know, these would all be very exciting cards to be pulling and looking at, right? So I do like looking at it from that vantage point as well. Let's see what we have behind these iron hands. We've got a Yamper. We've got a Grottle. We've got some kind of, is it? Oh, I don't know that I knew that this card was in this set. We have got Farigarav. EX, yes, cutie patootie. Your hoodie is one of those things where I'm like, God, if that existed in real life, I wish it existed in real life. I would wear that in real life, but then I actually think about myself wearing that in real life. I would not wear that in real life. A little scary for me. <laughs> But all right, we take that, yay newness, and textured sparkly newness, yes, this is very exciting. All right, all right, all right. Now let's see if we can get more sparkly newness. That's very greedy of you, Cassie. But like, as I always say, if I'm going to ask for what I really want, I want to actually be asking for what I really want. <laughs> so I can at least say I tried, yeah. Now let's see, Poochiana, what are you hiding? Nothing I care about. But there is something. Oh, oh, with the matching energy. <laughs> so that's your name, Gouging Fire. There we go for an EX. All right, another one. I mean, I I can't memorize the set after looking at it once. <laughs> but forgot about this one. Didn't realize about this one. But yeah, can't you just don't you just look at this and think about bananas? I don't know. I do. And then it just makes me think of, I think I saw it on Instagram in a reel. It's like some little Japanese, I don't know if he's a baby, a toddler, um, but like tiny little guy and he just loves bananas. And so whenever, I think it's his dad on the other side of the camera, presents him with a banana, he just goes, oh, Banana Kita! <laughs> the banana, it came! <laughs> so cute. Oh, he's really, really cute and just adorable. What a legacy he has already started for himself. All right, let's see. Metagross, you hiding anything good? Not really, but let's see. Do you see what I mean, my friends? We have not pulled one full art out of all of these packs. I mean, we still have one more chance here, but they're hard to pull. 
They really, really are. I don't know. I just, I don't know what it is. Pokemon, what are you thinking? You gotta throw us a bone here and there. This, you're just giving us a broth and it's just not quite what we're asking for. All right, Slugma, what you got? Nothing. We have something. It starts with an S. And I feel like that guy's name starts with an S. I just found out about him when I opened my booster box. He's one of the trainer cards. And I didn't recognize him because I didn't do anything with the school in Violet when I played through. I think he's one of the teachers, but he has what looks like an Alolan Raichu pin on his. Um, it has a name. That little lapel? Yes? I'm gonna guess that that's him. It sure is! <laughs> Pretty sure you're not worth anything, but like, do you really look that suave? I don't know, but I want your little lapel pin. Your little Lolan Raichu pin. It's very cute. I don't know, if nothing else, you look very friendly. Yeah, you look pleasant to be around, so I don't know you, but I'm not completely offended, so. Oh, but excuse me, you are a married man. I will leave you and your partner to be happy together. Now, it's the final EGB. <laughs> with the Pokemon Center stamp. Yeah, I almost thought I got ripped off and they only included two of the regular ones in my Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box because they put it up there when usually it's kind of down here. <laughs> but I found it. So, um, Iron Thorns, Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box. We have 11 packs. Can you really turn this around, please? I mean, you could do that so easily with just like one really nice special illustration rare that I don't have or with an illustration rare and like a gold card or something. Like, you have options, but let's just kind of make sure that it's new options, yeah? To make me the happiest that I can be. Let's take a look. Come on, don't let me show off my face rash for nothing here on camera <laughs> and just open up dud packs. Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. Not the one that I would have wanted the most, but it's an illustration rare. I am so happy. I only say that because I have some uh, trauma with Metagross. Um, I don't know if we remember Chilling Rain, but uh, the amount of Metagross V Maxis that I pulled. talking about it. Um, but that being said, let's take a look at this gorgeous card here of this Metagross. It's lovely. I mean, it looks like, you know, snowing and they're helping out in the farmland maybe with that tractor. Or no, maybe it's just a little neighborhood. Either way, they're helping roll out the balls of snow. And it's just, it's real cute. I just love these storybook looking illustrations. Although I will say my one critique is usually they include some other little Pokemon in here. Even if it had just been, you know, the snowman was maybe like a Pikachu or if there was like a little someone peeking out of a bush or something. I do love those little details, but uh, I guess I shouldn't be nitpicky. I'm very happy. We got an illustration rare and it's one that I haven't pulled before. So this is, this is good news. We do love and appreciate that. So Let's see if now we're gonna pull all the good stuff. Yep, I'm gonna say that that is definitely what is about to happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, I'm gonna say we're gonna get an ace spec and then a special illustration rare and then a full art. I'm just gonna call it right here. I don't know that it's possible to actually get that kind of a pack and it's definitely not happening here, but we have a sizzlipede. Have I pulled like three of these reverse sizzlipedes now? Okay, anywho, uh, we've got another Excadrill. I think it's full art. I'm seeing these little white wispies on the side though. If this is another airy. <laughs> Why is this my luck? <laughs> oh, with sets, I just, there are so many full arts. I haven't pulled, I think I've pulled one, two. I've pulled one Pokemon full art, yeah, and then one trainer full art. I suppose aside from Saguaro, was that your name? With your little Raichu lapel pin. I've pulled so few full arts, and yet, here I am, doubling up. Um, I mean, it's a full art, it's nice. I think it encapsulates the character. I wasn't a big fan of this character, but you know, it is what it is. It is a full art, I just... Is it so wrong for me to want it to be one that I didn't already have? 
<laughs> would be nice, but oh well, beggars can't be choosers, right? That is how the saying goes, and I guess it goes that way for a reason. So we're just going to try and be happy that we got a hit and keep on keeping on and just keep on that trajectory. Yeah, let's get more hits. Yeah. Maybe that was just the starting starting platform to launch us into more hits. Let's take a look. Behind this Bahiam. Nope. Behind this Colossal. I mean behind this Carvana. <laughs> too close up to me there. Ugh, either way. Way too close to my disappointment. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. It is not all lost yet. What, we're not even halfway through this Elite Trainer box yet? So let's see. We can still we can still get some things. We can still hope for the best. So let's take a peek. I do love that Arbok. Such a simple but beautiful artwork. Uh, but let's, 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 let's. Okay. Behind this Ghastly. Another one. Why am I getting all these samesies? Samesies, samesies, samesies. I mean... Uh, <sighs> Cassie, listen to yourself. These are just launching platforms. You are going to be getting all of the new stuff now. Yeah, yeah, you just had to get those repeats out of the way. Now we're going to go into nothing but new. Yeah, we definitely are. We definitely are. We're just going to have hits coming out of our pockets. It's not an actual saying. Anywho, but let's let's keep the hope and the dream alive. Let's see what we can do behind this Mudsdale. I meant behind this Bronzong. Definitely meant behind this Frostmoth. This is actually where the newness is going to start. You know, I... <laughs> Silly me, I don't know how I got that confused. Clearly this is the pack that's going to start off all of our new, beautiful, lovely hits. Yes, I agree. Wow, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for doing that for me. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do behind this fortress. <sighs> Reverse Sableye. Reverse Behem. It hurts. Please tell me I'm not alone. Please tell me Temporal Forces is pooping on everyone and not just me. I guess it hasn't been pooping on me. Like I said, that booster box of mine was actually technically quite good, uh, all things considered. So, let's, let's see. Let's just, let's keep going. You know, like I said, if we can just get that Cinchino special illustration rare or illustration rare, I'm not sure which it is, behind this grubbin. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I mean, that really would turn it around. We have four packs. Can we get one of each kind of a thing? Yeah, can we get an illustration rare, a special illustration rare, a full art, and then a gold card? And then mixed in there also an ace spec. Yeah, 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 that's, I'm feeling that. Definitely gonna be exactly that lucky. The Raichu and Victini, I feel like, hang out a lot. I mean, they are two absolute cute patoots, so I don't blame them. Behind this Beldum. Grottle, oh yeah, that illustration rare. Oh. We only have three packs left, my friends. But that's all it takes. All it takes is one pack, technically. So we have three one packs that we can technically put our faith into. Please. Please. Uh, please. <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than please. Please, Minchino, yes, summon yourself in illustration rare form. Oh, Rock Ruff, look at you evolving, cutie patootie. Let's see, behind this palafin, we've got a Slugma who is hiding, a very cute Pikachu who is hiding, frickin' Drompa, frickin' Drompa. <laughs> I actually really like that Drompa card, but it's just a good, uh, tainted, tainted by pulling too many of them. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, I think there's a Reuniclus. Is that how we're pronouncing it? Reunc Reunic, I don't know. I think there's an illustration rare for him as well. Let's see if we can do anything. 
behind this cutie fly. I do believe that's a border of a special illustration rare, my friends. The only one I've pulled, right, is the Morty, or the Gengar. I forget which one technically it is, um, but they're both on that card. Please just be one that is not that. <laughs> is that asking for too much? Ba -ba -da -ba. And behind? That's okay. Matching energy. Um, yeah, that that's a good one. I forget. It's not the top card, but it might be like top three, top four, top... Definitely top ten. <laughs> um, and it came out of my Iron Leaves Pokemon Center Elite Trader box. And it's beautiful. Honestly, I didn't know that I cared about this one. But now that I have it in my hand, that's beautiful. Very dynamic beautiful colors, those little pops of that pinky red, mm -hmm. with the green and the teals and the, yeah, yeah, that lime green, oh, that's good. Big note in the back, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say that's good. That's good, but can we do better? I don't want to be greedy, so it doesn't necessarily need to be better in terms of like monetary value, but can we get newness? Can we get gold? Can we get a full art that I don't have? Can we get an ace spec? Can we get an illustration rare? Technically these things are all possible. Let's see if we can make them a reality. Behind this shaman behind this lichen rock. Nope, okay. Well, I mean, we did get... <sighs> Who's ready for a recap? I am. I mean, it's not great. I don't think we made up monetarily for these four elite trainer boxes. However, we did get hits. So I'm just gonna take it <laughs> for what it is. Um, and we did get some clear winners here. Although I guess that means we got some clear leader losers too. But either way, it actually ended up being that, you know, even with Pokemon Center having the extra packs and everything, I'm still gonna give Pokemon Center both of the Elite Trainer boxes from Pokemon Center the win. So I would say the worst out of all of these Elite Trainer boxes was my, technically not the Flutter main box, it was the Walking Wake regular Elite Trainer box. Uh, where we got a couple of reverse rares. I mean, it's the only box that gave us reverse rares. So, like, that's something. <laughs> but then all we got out of it was one EX card. It's an EX I don't have, though, so very happy about that. Um, and then it did give us an illustration rare, which can be very, very hard to pull, as I think you've noticed here, um, whether you open packs yourself or if you just watch me. I do have this one, but I still have to give it credit. We did get an illustration rare. Next up, I would say the Iron Thorns slash Iron Leaves regular Elite Trainer Box came in third place where we were able to get an EX card at the time. I did not have this EX yet. Um, we did get the Terra EX, Wug Trio. I do already have it. Um, and then we did get this gorgeous illustration rare of Ghastly. I love it so much. It is just the epitome of everything I love. It's got that storybook look. It's got a gorgeous color palette. It is playful. We've got the extra Pokemon here. Like just, it catches, captures the spirit of these Pokemon. And I love that. So still a hit. However, that's all we got out of that Elite Trainer box. Now, second place, I'm going to give to Fluttermane slash Walking Wake Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box because we were able to pull quite a few things. Um, technically we got more pulls out of this one than the Iron Leaves box, but I think we got better pulls. Quality over quantity type of a thing. So either way, this one got us some great pulls. You know, pretty sure don't have this EX card. Definitely don't have this EX card. Definitely don't have this Terra EX card. So really nice there. Also did not have this full art yet. Don't know who you are, but I will take you. You are a Raichu fan. You're okay in my books. Um, and then you also did get us this Litten illustration rare, which 
cat lady, cat lover, it me, it me, I love perfect gorgeousness. Very happy about that. Um, however, I, I do have to give the win to the Iron Thorns, Iron Leaves, Pokemon Center, Elite Trainer Box, uh, where like I said, we were going for quality here. So I do, at this point, I did technically already have this Scizor, but we did get an EX. We also got a full art. Like I said, already have them, but still, still pulls. But then on top of that, we got an illustration rare that is absolutely beautiful, very gorgeous, very nice. And the cherry on top is the best pull that we got all day. I mean, it is just gorgeous. And these special illustration rares are so hard to pull. Like, it's not even about monetary value at that point. It's just the fact that these are rare cards and this one is gorgeous. So like, I am so happy to have pulled this. This is I mean, aside from that Litten, this is my favorite pull of the, day, of the day. The Litten's adorable, but this is beautiful. So gorgeous. So happy about that one. Winner, if you ask me. So yeah, that is going to do it, my friends. I actually, I think I'm going to add to the binder in this video. I think I'm not saving this for the binder build video. Should I? Do you guys want binder build videos anymore? I feel like I just, you know, it, I feel like it's the same video every time, you know? Like I can only change it up so much. I know people enjoy them, but I just feel like they get very repetitive. So let me know, please, honestly. Um, if you enjoy them, I can still make them because obviously putting together the binder is something that I do anyways but either way please let me know so yeah let's go ahead and add these to the binder real quick let's see what we can do many cards many cards which of these will be new gotta open up the binder to find out starting off great with four bulk whimsicott <laughs> you're adorable but i'm sorry too much bramble guest you are also bulk. Hey, newness. All right, Gouging Fire EX. Welcome and thank you for finishing off these two pages. Boop, boop, boop. Alas, we are back to bulk with these three for alligator. Wah, wah. Trio EX, you are not bulk, but alas, I have pulled you before, so. Buddy system, in you go. Iron Thorns is bulk. Yes, do I know? It's very sad. These three Fluttermane are also bulk. Two Iron Valiant for bulk. But hey, hello, newness. We have got the Iron Crown EX sliding on in. Boop, to complete these two pages. We love to see it. But then we're back to duplicate bulk with the Relicanth. But then we're back to newness with Gengar EX. In you go, my dude. Front and center. We've also got Ferrigoraph EX. Bow, 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 bow. In you go to complete the page. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you guys. We have also got Scizor EX, so you can slide on in. Boop. I also, okay, apparently didn't notice that in my stack. We also have another one of you, just in you go. We have also got Matang, which means, yes, the completion of these two pages. How exciting. Not so exciting, back to bulk with Melmetal. Triple Coridon, you are bulk, as well as the Triple Maridon. Bulk. Da dun Double bulk. Our first quintuple bulk, <laughs> I think, of the video. Yikes. But then some newness with the adorable Litten. In you go, my friend. Welcome. Bronzor, you are not bulk, but you are a duplicate, so behind the original you go. Tragic. Same thing with this beautiful ghastly card. Behind the original you go, my friend. But then we can go back to newness with the Metagross. Ba -ba -da -ba. In you go, buddy. Ugh, but then back to pain. Back to, the, I mean, kind of fitting because you, you do look like you could cause and enjoy giving me pain. So I hope that was nice for you, Aerie. Then we have Salvatore, Salvatore, not sure how to pronounce your name, but in you go, have fun. Ah, and right next door, the beautiful Iron Leaves EX. In you go, oh, you look great. Thanks for joining the binder. Now, so many reverse hollows. Surely there's something new in here. Starting off with bulk. Friendship, 
for the nose leaf. Enjoy. Rosalia, cutie, in you go. Roserade, starting off with friendship here in the binder. Have fun. Grottel is a double bulk situation. Womp womp. Shaman, you get a friend, as well as Cottony here. And then Whimsicott, not bulk this time. In you go, cutie. But we are back to friendship with the Deerling and the Saws Buck. But then back to is this a roller coaster for you guys? Grubbin, in you go. Delmise, I might not like you, but it doesn't mean you don't deserve a friend. Enjoy. Bramblin, you are new. Thank you. Welcome. Double Rabska, so one of you gets to be a friend, and one goes to bulk. Hello, fig. Oh, didn't realize we had a third one. To bulk you go. Double ponyta, one can be a friend, the other to bulk. I'm starting to sense a pattern here. <laughs> Friendship and bulk. Bless you, Fig. Hey, at least Tora Cat is something new. Turnator gets a friend. Triple Sizzlepede, one of which you can have a friend, but you two can remain friends in bulk. Back to the pattern, we have got one for friendship and one for bulk. Friendship for the Sharpedo, one for friendship, blank, one for bulk. My god. <laughs> we have got one for friendship, two for bulk. Hey, but we get to finish off the page with Finizen. Woohoo! Pikachu, adorable, you get a friend. Vicavolt, welcome, you are new. Yamper with the weird tongue, you get a friend. Girafferig gets a friend. Latias, you are new, welcome. Bronzor for friendship. Double Bronzong, one for friendship, one for bulk. Duosion, friendship. Behem, you know the drill. One for friendship, one for bulk. Cutie fly for friendship, as well as Rubombi coming in to be a good friend. And Screamtail, no need to be angry alone. In you go. Metatite, you get a friend. Metacham, what a surprise. So do you. The happiest little drill burr. Welcome. You get to go on in. As well as Excadrill. No need to be lonely from the start. You will begin with friendship. Lycanroc. Friendship it is. As well as Mudsdale. Enjoy. Colossal. My dude. Just kidding. I have really no feelings about you. Ghastly. Wanted to bring back the trend of friendship and bulk. Puchiana coming in as a friend, as well as Mightyena and Sableye. I am so sorry, but this doesn't feel good for me either, okay? <laughs> we then have Mawile starting off with friendship. We love to see it. Abeldum, another new one. We love to see it. Metagross, you are not new, but friendship you get. As well as little baby Meltan, have a friend. But Melmetal, you are at least new. Huzzah, welcome, in you go. The beautiful Hoot Hoot, you get a friend. Cutie Patootie Skitty, welcome, in you go. Double Tranquil, once again, you know the drill. One for friendship, one for bulk. We then have Boxed Order, which is new, huzzah. As well as a rescue board. We love ending on newness, all right. Yay, and better luck next time. <laughs> And we can't forget, we've got promos to add. We've got number 97, the regular Fluttermane, and then also number 97 with the Pokemon Center stamp on it, and following suit, number 98 with the Iron Thorns and some cat hair. In you go regular version, and in you go Pokemon Center version. Welcome home, and enjoy recycling my sticky notes. That's not terrible. And ta-da! So yeah, so that's gonna do it for today. I hope that was enjoyable for you guys, seeing this elite trainer box battle. It can, it can be rough out here sometimes. But then you just get that one pull and it's just, it makes everything all better. Or at least it feels that way. So, <laughs> I at least had fun with you guys. I hope you guys had fun too. Please let me know, you know, which cards you're chasing from this set, which ones you want the most, if you're chasing them at all, or you're just gonna buy a singles. Let me know all of that good stuff down in the comments below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up. 
down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe by tippity tapping that notification bell down below and becoming a member of my casserole family. Be it here on this channel or my main channel. I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!